Hello friends, today we'll learn about blood. Blood is essential to keep everyone alive. It carries nutrients and oxygen to the cells in the body. Blood carries waste materials to the lungs, kidneys, and digestive system to be removed from the body. It also fights infections and carries hormones. There are various components to blood, plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Let's understand about each. Plasma. It is the yellowish liquid portion of blood. Plasma is the single largest component of human blood, comprising approximately 55%. It contains water, salts, antibodies, enzymes, and some proteins. Red blood cells. Red blood cells are also called erythrocytes, or RBC. It comprises about 45% of blood. They contain a protein called hemoglobin that carries oxygen. Blood gets its vibrant red color when hemoglobin picks up oxygen in the lungs. Red blood cells live for about 120 days. Every day the body makes new RBCs to replace those that die. RBCs are produced in the soft fatty tissue inside bone cavities called bone marrow. White blood cells. White blood cells are also called leukocytes or WBC. These are the cells of the immune system which are involved in protecting the body against foreign invaders and infectious diseases. White blood cells are derived from multipotent cells in the bone marrow called hematopoietic stem cells. Platelets. If one of your blood vessels gets damaged, it sends out signals that are picked up by the tiny platelets. The platelets then rush to the site of damage and form a clot to repair the damage. Now it's time to learn how blood flows in the body. Oxygen you breathe in from the air passes through the lungs into your blood through tiny capillaries in the lungs. Oxygen-rich blood travels through your pulmonary veins to the left side of your heart and out of the aorta to the rest of the body. There are eight blood types. A negative, A positive, B negative, B positive, O negative, O positive, AB negative, and AB positive. We should eat dried fruits, green vegetables, beans, whole grains, low-fat dairy, etc. to keep the blood healthy and clean. Now, you know a lot about blood. Please drop a like, leave a comment, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.